I'm Councillor Andrew Proctor, I'm the leader of Norfolk County Council. The first headline really is this does bring in additional money. The devolution deal period is 30 years. Now we're looking at 20 million pounds a year investment fund each year for those 30 years. So that alone is 600 million pounds. That's the sort of investment that government are prepared to put into Norfolk. That's the first thing. The second thing really is those powers and responsibilities where we don't have to go to government to ask for things. Those powers and responsibilities will be devolved to the County Council so we can make local decisions affecting the things that we do locally. The benefits really is the additional money, the opportunity and how we can make things work better locally. We want to hear what people have got to say about this for the future, the future of our county. We know from our engagement with businesses and our district council colleagues that this is the sort of thing that they've got the priorities set in, into the way the deal is structured, so people can see all the things we want to do for the future. Businesses want to see us being proactive in putting their case forward. We want to work with them, we want to work with all the people concerned to make sure whatever we do from this, it's a deal for Norfolk for the future. This is not intended to be local government reorganisation. This is intended actually to work to make sure that we can work better together, I would suggest. Devolution is taking powers downwards from central government to local government. It's around how we can devolve those powers and responsibilities from government, but also to make sure that we can work better with our district council colleagues, our boroughs and cities, because they have a pivotal role to play in this as well. This is the catalyst for working better together with them across the whole piece.